Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Scala tutorial for beginners. In this video, we will talk about strings in Scala. So first of all, what are strings? Strings can be defined as the sequence of characters. And how we can declare strings in Scala? Simply as we have done with integers or doubles or any other data type. So we will just define a well or a var keyword and then we will just give the name to your string for example str1 is the name and the data type which is string in our case equals and the value of that string for example hello world now strings in scala are same as java strings and hence the value is of type java.lang.string right so java classes are available in scala and scala makes use of java string without creating separate string class in scala now similar to java strings are immutable in scala that is the object which cannot be modified now let's see some of the method which are related to strings which we can use to use these strings in a better way so first method we are going to use is the length method so just use your variable name inside print line and then we will just write dot and you can see different methods are available for the strings so you just need to uh, see uh, these method and whatever method you want to use you can use them and uh, the signatures are also given here and then in the side of this uh, method you will see from where this method is coming so it's coming from java.lang dot string you can see so there is no special scala string class it comes from uh, this java dot lang dot string right so let's use the first method which is length which is going to give us the length of this string and uh, let's uh, just print ln and uh, we are going to use the second method for example for concatenating the string so i'm going to declare uh, the second string let's say str2 and this time this uh, string is hello world for example max we want to concatenate okay and then i'm going to give the space so we have the space between hello world and uh, max here okay so i'm going to just use the str1 dot and then we are going to use the concat method you can see here this is the concat method which takes the other string as argument so i'm going to use uh, this concat method and then we are going to just give the second string variable which is string 2 let's run the code and let's see the result of uh, the length and the uh, concatenation so length is 11 for this hello world and the concatenation result is this one hello world max okay so in the same way you can use uh, this dot operation to see in the intellisense which method you can use in the string so now the question is how will you understand what each method does okay so let's say i have this concat uh, method and I don't know how to use it. So what I will do is I will just press control key on my computer and then I will hover over this concat method or the length method, whatever method you want to see and then click on that method, which is going to, uh, you know, redirect you to that method definition. Okay. And here you will be able to see uh, what this uh, method does. So you can see uh, the definition of this method concatenates the specified string to the end of this string, right? And what it returns a string that represents the concatenation of this object's characters, right? So if you want to know more about the method, you just need to press control key and then just hover over the method and then click on that method and you will be inside that methods definition and you will uh, you know read more about that method so let's move on so concatenation can be done with this uh, plus operator also right so you can just write uh, string one plus 
str2 which is also fine and i'm going to just run this code and you can see the result is same so when you hover over this plus operator for string the signature is this one and it can be used to concatenate two strings also now let's talk about the formatting so string formatting so string formatting uh, can be done using two methods in scala which are print f and format method so we are going to see both of them so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just define a variable for example num1 which is going to be a decimal value let's say 75 and then i'm going to define uh, val num2 which is going to be uh, for example a float value so i'm going to just uh, write uh, 100.25 okay and i want to just format this uh, number and the, the other number and the string in some format so how can i do this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, define a variable here and i'm going to just say result is equal to and then i'm going to use a print f function and then i can format this uh, numbers and the string in a desired format so let's say i want to just write something like this so inside bracket i want to just write num1 and then num2 so i'm going to just use this uh, mod symbol and then d which is for the decimal value and then after space i'm going to just give two dash and once again i'm going to use mod f for the float value and after two uh, dashes i'm going to just print the string value using uh, mod s okay and then you just pass these values one by one as the other argument so the first is uh, num1 for the decimal then the float value num2 and then the string which is str1 for us okay which is going to print us uh, the number and then these two dashes and then the float value and then these two dashes and then the string one value okay now the other way of uh, doing this is let's just print this result first of all so print line and then i'm going to just write uh, result here and then let's uh, see the other method which is uh, print ln and here i'm going to do the same thing using a format method so i'm going to just uh, just copy this format from here and then i'm going to just write dot which is going to just show us uh, once again all those method and in all these methods we are searching for the format method so you can see the format method here so i'm going to use this and then the arguments so arguments are the same which we have passed in the printf uh, method which is num1 num2 and string1 okay so you can use this format method to format string also so i'm going to run the code and you can see i see these results now in the result you can see uh, these two uh, results are different so this is printing uh, this desired result and then these two uh, extra brackets and the format um, printf uh, print line is showing us the desired result which is in this format so because this print line is a function which returns unit unit means it doesn't return anything so when we call this uh, printf uh, function inside print line it simply means that we are just calling that function that's why it's just uh, you know adding these two brackets here when we use this printf directly so i'm going to just copy this which is going to print this formatted string let's see the result first of all so you can see the result is the resi desired result so you can just directly use printf instead of uh, just assigning it because it doesn't return anything 
so that's why it's just printing the functions well so in this way you can use strings in scala whenever you want to use uh, some uh, method related to string you can just use the string and then use this dot notation and see whichever method you want to use in your uh, string and then uh, you can also see the definition as i showed you okay so i hope you've enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now